Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Nick Armenis here. In today's video, I'm going to take you live basically through a Google ad account audit uh, for a potential client. So this is someone who's approached me who wants to know if I can help them with their Google ads. So this will basically take you through the process of how uh, I relatively quickly, I will go into some details so you kind of understand and I'm going to be talking about things over and above what I would normally do. I would do this much faster if it was just someone coming to me wanting help with their ads. Uh, and I do have a template I follow when there's paid audits. So if it's a paid audit, this is this is an audit that, and I don't often do this a lot now, I mainly only do paid audits just because it does take some time to really delve into a lot of things if someone's really interested. But this is just top level, do I think I can help them? And then as part of the paid service, I would include a paid audit, right? So if I'm gonna be taking them on. But what I will do, guys, is I'll quickly just start taking notes as I do this. And uh, obviously, if you do want to skip ahead to different bits and pieces, just quickly go through the video. But if you are interested in what goes on in my head uh, when I'm auditing, stay tuned. So first and foremost, guys, I will always look at the website. In this instance, this is a business called Trike Bike. And what I'm going to look at is their website, their Google Ads, and their Google Analytics. I've bunched them together, but just a really quick look at what's going on in this business and do I think I can help them. So first and foremost, I will look at their website. As you can see, uh, their website is not up to standard to run digital advertising. So this straight away would go to me. Straight away, I'd be going, okay, now I'm going to have to tell these guys that their website isn't up to par. It's not up to scratch. Um, one big part is it just doesn't look professional. In particular, their major issue is the images, the images and the overall layout. Um, I mean, the logo isn't too bad. Uh, is it their ideal customer and things like that? Like we won't go that deep, but probably not. Uh, at the end of the day, um, people are still likely to be able to buy on this and we'll go through that and quickly check that everything's kind of working. But because this is quick, I'm just going bang. Straight away, I go, this is not up to scratch. Look at these images. This is what's gonna be coming up in my, in my Google shopping ads. Uh, and straight away I go, it's quite a sparse looking website. I would normally click this video and see, but straight away I go, it's probably not the greatest video either. Can't be used in other forms of advertising probably, um, but I believe they actually are using it. Uh, and straight away, like, look at all these images. They're blurry, none of them are the same. They're all different. They're clearly not professionally shot images. Uh, and just the, the website just is a little confusing. All the products are just all over the place. Maybe we go to shop and just have a quick look. Uh, and this, I guess, is a collection, but again, a little bit, well, here's all the different collections, sorry. Okay, they've got electric ones as well, which I imagine is probably the more exciting area. And I go, okay, maybe this is an area that might do okay. But again, all these images are just so blurry. Uh, let's actually click on an individual product and see what the product page is like. You know, the title, I guess, isn't too bad. Um, probably could expand on it for Google Ads. So I'd straight away go, okay, probably not uh, the greatest um, title or description. I guess the good thing about the descriptions, there is quite a bit of information here. They've got some specs. I do like that there's plenty of stuff. So one good thing they do have going for them is that uh, basically their descriptions and and their top, like their descriptions and what's in here. There's quite a bit of information. If I was a buyer, I probably would have enough. Just really top level. Here's the thing: they do have some professionally shot images, so I'm not sure why they don't use them as the core product image. So, well, okay, my notes are going to be as follows, guys. So this will be to conclude the website. Uh, Website overall requires an overhaul to appear more professional and legitimate. This would help greatly improve the store's conversion rate and build trust with customers. Uh, the next point would be images of products need work. There appear to be some professional images, but they don't seem to be the main ones. Uh, 
uh, further. Uh, further in collections and not in the product page itself, uh, images are very blurry. This reduces visitor trust. And basically, guys, if you jump on a website like this, the, the products are expensive. Uh, you really need a high quality website. You just, these days you can't get around that. I will word this a little bit nicer when I run through the, uh, I guess, customer. But for this stage, this is all I will do right now. I mean, down the track, you know, you check everything. Um, but let's get into Google Ads and Analytics and what I would first look at there. So let's jump into their account. This is the trike bike Google ad account. And I'll normally look at the last 30 days and then I'll look all time and other periods, but just really, really quickly, uh, cost. I'll look at cost. They haven't spent much. So straight away I go, how are they gonna afford my services when they're spending $144 per month uh, on it? So straight away I go, mm, am I going to be able, are they gonna be able to afford my services? Conversion value, two, that tells me conversion tracking is not set up properly. And the way we see that is we go to tools and settings, measurement, and then conversions. And like I said, guys, I am going through this uh, fast, but I would actually do it even faster if it was me not talking through it. Uh, and I would look in here and go, okay, what are these guys actually tracking for? Let's see what's on. Firstly, I would straight away go, okay, there's too many events that they're tracking. Some of them are like long click directions. All these different things, they just really don't matter. I should have said also, guys, that this is a wholesale business. And so potentially calls are important to them. I get it. But uh, their main purchase event here has nothing. And then this sales default profile uh, has eight, but the value isn't being tracked. So for e-commerce, value being tracked is very, very important. So I'd straight away go conversion, tracking, not properly set up, need to be tracking the conversion value. Otherwise, we don't know the ROI, the ROAS of the ads. Pretty straightforward, right? So I know straight away, I'm gonna to have to do things like proper conversion tracking. Then you go, okay, this is a lot more work. Not that that is a huge issue, but it's just like all of these things take time and money uh, and just factors I have to consider. Uh, I'll go also tracking too many events, plain and simple. I'm gonna close the website now. So again, spend, um, I would note here, spend of only $144 per month. Do they plan, do you plan to increase this as it is very low and will be hard to justify my fee? Done. So you do have to be upfront with people. Um, because otherwise, like you just don't, I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste their time. I mean, the one good thing that here, I go, okay, the conversion, we don't know what event it is, uh, but the cost per conversion at the moment is $10.30, which if it's calls and stuff, I don't know, maybe it's expensive. It's probably not. $10 a call for a bike like this is probably pretty good. Uh, but for a conversion, if it's an actual value, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's a sale. I don't know what it is. I don't know if any of these events are firing, firing properly. Uh, so I go, okay, I'm not too sure. Um, if it is a purchase, then it's a very, very good cost per conversion. I go, okay, maybe there's opportunity. Um, but back onto here, me, um, cost per conversion looks okay if it is uh, tracking correctly. But need to know, know the value, okay? So guys, please let me know in the comments below if this is actually useful. I've never done a video like this, but I thought people might want to know what goes on in my head. My next steps, guys, would actually be what types of campaigns are they or have they run in the past? 
So Trike Bike Australia, this looks like a smart campaign. Uh, I don't really like smart campaigns because they're very, very broad um, and they're mainly search-based. So straight away I go, okay, there's no shopping ads up. What's going on? Okay, they have run shopping ads in the past. So let's maybe go all time. And just see now, how much have they spent all time? So they've spent a whole thousand dollars, okay? They're still not looking good in terms of, can we uh, work together? Uh, so we're now gonna look at the smart campaign, the smart shopping campaign they appear to have run. And I know that because it says it there. Uh, they spent a whole $243. That's not a good sign either because if they're only spending that and turning it off, which they did it for basically one month, um, probably not a good, uh, potentially not a good client, not from a point of view of their bad business or anything like that, but it's very, very hard for them to ju then justify a few thousand dollars a month and a few thousand dollars up front to work together. Um, I'd have a look and see where any products in particular are doing well. This red one maybe had a better click-through rate. Again, not good images on a lot of these, but actually better than what I thought. It seems like maybe they do have better images, but they're not appearing properly on the website. So my next comment would be no, no current shopping ads up. And then I'd also go prior shopping ads campaign was not left to run long enough. Do they intend, do you intend, okay, they intend to spend more on shopping? And then I'd, I'd go into the conversation, take customer, sorry, client, through this and explain it. So I'd explain to them in detail, okay, uh, you haven't spent enough, you haven't let this run long enough, are you willing to do this? If not, then it's gonna be very, very hard to work together basically. So that's probably all the detail I would go into. I wouldn't really look at CPCs or anything like that. I mean, the cost per clicks are quite low. I wouldn't go into much more detail because if they can't address these areas of concern, we can't really work together. I mean, basically what we might be able to do is go into the keyword planner and just quickly see, are there any uh, potential, um, sorry, what is the potential in this area? So like how how much money could they be making? Trike bikes, tricycle bikes, and then just get results. So trike bikes actually get 3,600 monthly searches, which it's pretty good. I mean, we are getting impression share there. I don't know how it's 45% because that doesn't really make much sense. Must be very, very coming low in the auction. Um, yeah, look, there is some electric tricycle. There is definitely search volume in this area. And then we could also type it into here, uh, into shopping and see what's coming up. And that's where we go, okay, maybe the search volume is inflated because maybe it's mainly kids uh, bikes that we're actually looking at here. And I'm not sure, maybe their products are too expensive as well. Um, and that might be a no. Products may be expensive, but would need to further analyze because like it's, you need to understand with shopping and with e-commerce brands, you need to understand what they're selling. If they're selling a premium product, then that's fine. There's no issue with that. I've got clients that are selling premium products and you just need to get that across. And if you don't have the professional images, you're never going to, because at the end of the day, um, the electric ones, people know they're gonna be expensive, but the non-electric, well, you know, they, they can't be in the thousands of dollars, people won't pay that. The thing about this business though, that gives it some kind of, I guess, redeeming quality is, it's in an area that I know, it's close by, like it's not too far, it's in the same city that I live in. And obviously they're doing well enough to have a storefront and have a shop and, and what looks to be a warehouse. So I go, okay, maybe maybe we can work together. My main thing is I would need to um, kind of explain to them uh, what um, they can expect, things like that, what the opportunity is and kind of sell them on that. But I'd be honest, this is what it's gonna cost. Uh, this is what I think you could make. You're probably gonna to need to stick to it for three to six months or we're not gonna see any kind of major difference. Um, but I definitely think that this is one that uh, as long as they're able to support the inventory, the ad spend um, and my feed, then we probably could work really well together. But really top level, this is the sort of stuff to look at 
uh, when you're looking at a Google ad account. And I mean, you can delve much deeper. We will, I'll, before I go, I'll quickly take you through the analytics account. Uh, they get a reasonable amount of users. I guess it's like, it's not huge. So I'd probably like to in detail go, where is this traffic coming from? And to work that out, we'd go to acquisition, all traffic, and then channels within Google Analytics. Uh, and then we'd have a look at probably the last, let's just go the last 30 days and maybe we'll go further back after that. Uh, and look, they rank really, really highly organically, which, and they have quite a decent amount of um, time spent on site. Again, it doesn't look like e-commerce is properly set up here, uh, tracking. Uh, and then paid search is a very, very small area. Uh, looks like most of the paid search is probably on their own brand name, given the average duration. Um, and, you know, if they're getting that level of organic traffic, again, this is weird, maybe analytics was only recently installed. Um, then potentially there is search volume in the space and it can do well. So that would be another comment I would put here. Uh, lot, a decent amount, and it's not a huge amount of organic traffic, but there's some there. Organic traffic, potentially opp some real opportunity, opportunity to grow through search ads. Now, these guys do want me to look at social media and things like that, but I'm just going to completely leave that out of this video. Um, this is basically what I I would kind of change it a little bit, maybe send it to them, uh, and then either jump on a quick like two to five minute phone call with them talking through it. This was a referral from a client, so I'm probably going above and beyond what I normally go. Um, if it was just a general inquiry, I'd probably just do it via email. Um, but this is the sort of stuff that I would look at day to day um, if someone approached me. So guys, if you did enjoy the video, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, plenty of new content coming up now that I'm back in Australia doing more videos. Uh, we'll also try and do some more TikTok shorts and things like that, uh, just to kind of get people uh, more familiar with my content, um, get all those that were subscribers kind of re into my um, system and how I work and trying to really document more what I do day to day. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much guys.